What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another ARK Insight today and today guys we're taking a look at the Aloe versus the Dinopithecus. So guys we'll be going over their base level 1 stats, their abilities and then a fight to the death to see who is stronger. So first off let's jump straight into the Dinopithecus' stats. We have 775 health, 800 stamina, 350 weight, and then the 125.8% melee damage. However, their base melee damage is 57 with their primary attack. Now, as for the aloe, it has 630 health, 250 stamina, 380 weight. So already the aloe is at a little bit more of a disadvantage, having less health and less stamina than the Dinopithecus. Now, the Aloe's base melee damage at level 1 is 44, so the Dinopithecus actually hits harder than the Aloe does at level 1, which is kind of shocking to be honest, because you got this little tiny monkey dude compared to this big ass theropod, and that's a big damage difference. You can see here, Dinopithecus hitting for 57, so there's a big damage difference in terms of straight up damage. So already the Dinopithecus is very far ahead of the Aloe. Now as for their abilities, the Aloe has a standard primary attack. However, when there are multiple Aloes nearby, they will get a pack bonus. Very similarly to the Dinopithecus, the higher level one will receive a pack buff, which you can pop. And that will cause you, that aloe and all other aloes in the pack to deal extra damage. So this is rather effective at taking on large dinos such as rexes, even gigas you can effectually defeat with aloes. So they also gain access to a new attack which is the sheer attack. And this attack will cause you to deal bleed effect over a period of time. You can see here if we actually can hit it, there we go. You can see there the victim is bleeding, it has reduced movement speed. Uh, and it takes a bleed effect over time. As well as that, the alpha or the pack leader will gain extra damage on top of that. You can see there in the top right hand corner, we do have the pack leader buff. Now, this sheer attack only applies to the alpha. It will not apply to its subordinates. So do keep that in mind. You also gain access to a roar, which is purely cosmetic. It will cause your other aloes to also roar alongside you. However, aloes really lack stamina like most large theropods, so you will need to be careful of their stamina usage. But that is pretty much it for the aloes abilities, unfortunately. It doesn't really have too much else going for it. I definitely think they might need a little bit of a TLC, but uh, like something where they could pin down tames and stuff like that, or wild dinos using their, their feet and their hands and, and just munching on them. So, it's a bit of a tough one. As well as that, coming across Aloe Saddle Blueprints and Cross the World of Ark is very difficult. I remember spending quite a lot of time trying to find an Aloe Blueprint. I think the only place I found a Saddle Blueprint was on Genesis Part 1. So, it did take me quite a while to actually get a good one of those as well. So, keep that in mind. Now, as for the Dinopithecus, we have recently covered its abilities. It can throw poo, it can throw grenades, it can throw poo-covered grenades which will slow and disable tech armor and tech weaponry. So keep that in mind for your Dinopithecuses. They also have a jump ability. They have a secondary attack, which enables them to ground pound. They have the ability to climb up structures and just really anything. As long as you get that crosshair popping up and then jumping onto whatever it is that you want to climb up, they will be able to climb up things using the movement keys. They also have the ability to harvest up resources as well. So keep that in mind. And they have the ability to wear helmets, which will reduce the amount of damage that they take. So they don't have the capacity to wear saddles, but they do have helmets, which greatly increases their chances of survival and greatly reduces the amount of damage that they take. Now, as well as that, Dinopithecuses also get a pack buff, and this will allow them to use the Battle Cry ability, which will cause all monkeys, not the alpha, to attack whatever target it is that is selected. So you can see here we've got a kangaroo, a procoptodon, sorry, if we target this guy you'll see that it will actually get targeted and get attacked by the other monkeys. However, due to us not being a pack leader because we're all the same level, it's not going to work. Now, however, it will definitely work. You can see there the battle cry did just pop up as soon as we got our pack buff and we can send our fellow monkeys to attack and also applied bleed effects on whatever it is that they are attacking. So the Dinopithecus, definitely a worthy contender to uh, be stronger than the Aloe. We'll see how it plays out in the fight. What we're going to also do is we're going to test the 
gathering rates of both of these creatures. By summoning in a Parasaur, we're going to have it killed, and then we'll use each of them to gather at their base level. Alrighty guys, here we have two Parasaurs. We are going to kill both of them. They have both been tamed and they're both level 1 so that there's no outliers or anything like that in terms of the gather rates. But first up, we shall use the Allo. And what we're going to do is we're also just going to give it infinite stats here so that we know that it doesn't eat any of the meat. So let's munch down and see who gathers the most. So 103 raw meat and 125 hide. And we'll just pop the infinite stats as well on the monkey. So, in terms of pure gathering, they're actually very similar. I think the monkey managed to gather one extra bit of meat, um, but the aloe actually got more hide, so and only one less meat. So, in terms of harvesting, they're both very similar. I, I can't see anything uh, being too different between them in terms of harvesting. So, they're pretty equal in terms of that, but... Now we are going to get these guys in a battle to the death against each other. Alrighty guys, so we're all ready to go. The Dinopithecus has been unclaimed, but it's been unclaimed on aggressive, so it will straight away aggro on the Aloe, and the Aloe has been whistled to attack my target. So, let's let the fight begin. My money is on the Dinopithecus, unfortunately. You can see here that the Aloe just doesn't attack as fast. The Dinopithecus is getting slightly stunlocked. However, it is still able to attack faster than the Aloe. So it looks like the Dinopithecus is the clear winner for this battle. Whoa, 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 chill out, big fella. Let's take a look at his health. Yeah, definitely won by a landslide. There was no way the Aloe was going to be able to contend, unfortunately. So what we're going to do now, to just to see how things go, we are going to summon in a pack of max level 150 Aloes. Now, there is going to be some outliers with this because I don't have a direct control over their stats. But what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in three monkeys, we're going to spawn in three aloes, and we're going to see who comes out on top. Now, I will also give one extra level to the alphas so that we can go ahead and trigger the alpha buffs for both of them. But let's see how this plays out. Alrighty, guys, the aloes have been whistled to attack, so we're going to see how this plays out. I just need to make sure there's nothing in the area. Dinopithecuses have been unclaimed. I haven't looked at any of their stats because I don't really want to know. We're going to just see how this plays out. So, they're away. We're going to see... Oh my god! The monkeys are just absolutely chunking the aloes so much more. However, the aloes are applying their bleed effect. I don't think it's going to be enough to help them out. First aloe is dead. Second aloe is dead. And third aloe is dead. Monkeys absolutely shreked the crap out of the aloes. Look at this. We've still got plenty of health on this guy. Still got plenty of health on the Alpha. They didn't even get through one of them. Oofed. So, Dinopithecuses are the clear winners here. They were hitting twice as hard. They were hitting for about 200 damage. Although, 372.8 melee damage is very high. 325 melee damage. And then, what have you got? 360. These guys have got very high melee damage stats coming into this. That's, uh, that's a solid amount of points in melee damage. Let's just whistle passive here so we can take a closer look. Yeah, let's look at that. 34 points there, 42 in melee damage there. Damn, I wish I had that in my other world. And 40 damage there. So, very big difference in terms of stats, although I don't know how much the Aloes had, but even with higher melee damage stats, it, it was clear that the Dinopithecuses were the absolute winners of that fight. So, guys, that is going to wrap up this Arc Insight. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see as well. But other than that, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.